Hello and welcome to Kashmir Now. I'm your host Lipakshi Khurana. Let's take a look at what made news this week. Danger of flood looms large in villages at foots of mountain glaciers in Gilgit, Baltistan. Anger grows in Gilgit, Baltistan over natural resources exploitation and power crisis. Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir celebrates World Heritage Week. A 104 feet tall Indian national flag hoisted near LOC in Kupwara symbolizing national unity. And in our special section of Incredible India, we take you to witness the celebrations across the country during the festival of Chhat Puja. The residents of mountainous region in the illegally occupied Gilgit Baltistan are gripped with fear of natural disasters. As the major glaciers in the region are melting away at a much faster rate than before, the danger of floods looms large in the villages surrounding glaciers. The rapid deforestation to sustain Pakistan's infrastructure projects is the prime cause of drastic change in climatic conditions. The local administration shows no concern towards environmental degradation in Gilgit, Baltistan. The residents complain they received no funds from the proxy administration of Pakistan after last year's devastating floods. We have a report. The danger of natural disasters is looming large in the mountainous regions of Gilgit, Baltistan. Owing to rapid deforestation to sustain Pakistan's several infrastructure projects, there has been a drastic change in the climatic conditions of Gilgit, Baltistan. The glaciers are melting at a pace never before, raising threats of glacial lake outburst floods for the villages living in surrounding areas. Tariq Jamil a local community leader who has been monitoring the change in glaciers is wary of floods in his village where around 200 families are surviving. इस झील के बनने के बाद कम्युनिटी को शुरू शुरू के सालों में बहुत ज्यादा दुश्वारियां थी क्योंकि मॉनिटरिंग का जो जिम्मेदारी थी शुरू के एक दो साल में कम्युनिटी को दी गई थी कि क्योंकि बाहर के लोगों को इतना इल्म भी नहीं था इस एरिया के बारे में हम लोग वीकली कभी-कभार डेली बेस पे भी आते थे झील को मॉनिटर करने के लिए व्हेन ग्लेशियर लेक्स ओवरफिल और देयर बैंक्स बिकम वीक the overwhelmed lakes burst into deadly floods, wiping out bridges, buildings and fertile lands in their way. Over the past three years, residents repeatedly evacuated just in time to avoid loss of life and many fear of flood while they sleep. Others struggle financially as their land and homes were destroyed most recently in 2022. Zahra Ramzan in a nearby Chalt village had a close call when a torrent of black water rushed down the valley, sweeping away his 11-year-old son, Ali Muhammad. Ramzan gets nervous whenever there is heavy rain or flooding, refusing to allow her surviving children out of sight. Pakistan is the only country to receive adaptation funding from the Green Climate Fund the Paris Agreement's key financing pot to ease the risk of such floods in Gilgit, Baltistan. However, the residents of this village in the illegally occupied territory have received no funding for rehabilitation or help from Pakistan's proxy administration. 
People like Tariq Jamil are the only concerned individuals who have been taking care of the environment and joined the UN-backed Glacier Lake Outburst Flood Glof Second project to help communities downstream. But his daughter often gets worried about the future and fears if someday they would be cut off from their house due to floods. We had a great attachment at this house for 50, 50 to 100 years. If the disaster cut off this house, that we will shift to another place, that we will become very sad. Darkut is another village that sits surrounded by mountains and glaciers. Mohammad Yasin, an environmental sciences graduate researcher at Karakuram International University, is studying the extent to which Darkut glacier is melting. He reveals his fears and premonitions concerning Darkut Lake formed in the soil and rock landscape by the receding glacier. Future prediction is that this glacier will go back and 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 this glacier will go back. थर्ड ये है कि डाउनस्ट्रीम कम्युनिटीज के लिए ये झील जो है ना बढ़ने की वजह से गर्मियों के मौसम में जो है ये फटने का खतरा है और ब्रस्ट होने का खतरा है और डाउनस्ट्रीम जो पॉपुलेशन है वो 2010 और 2018 की तरह इफेक्टेड हो सकते हैं। ड्रास्टिक क्लाइमेट चेंज एंड मेल्टिंग ग्लेशियर्स इन रीसेंट टाइम्स प In absence of any rehabilitation plans from the local administration, their lives are hanging on the edge. More glacial floods in these areas could wipe out their homes and livelihoods completely. And a string of human rights violations by the government of Pakistan in the illegally occupied territory has angered the public in Gilgit Baltistan. Major power outages for several months and exploitation of natural resources in Gilgit Baltistan has triggered a wave of protest against the government. People are disappointed over the fact that when it comes to exploitation of resources, the puppet government in the illegally occupied Gilgit Baltistan is not far behind the Islamabad dispensation. Recently, a senior journalist from the region expressed his anger against those who are in power in Pakistan. We have a report. तो पचहत्तर साल से आज तक इतना पानी के मनब होने के बावजूद न स्टेट ने हमें बिजली दिया है पचहत्तर साल से न हमें सही एजुकेशन दिया है पचहत्तर साल से हमें कुछ भी नहीं दिया A senior journalist from Gilgit, Baltistan, Yusuf Nashad, has expressed his anger against the ruling dispensation in Pakistan. People in his region are forced to live in harsh conditions as Pakistan has denied basic rights to them. Amid several atrocities carried out by the Pakistani government, residents of Gilgit Baltistan are compelled to live under darkness. Suffering major power breakdowns for months, Gilgit Baltistan is witnessing a wave of protests against the ruling dispensation. Moreover, people are disappointed over the fact that when it comes to exploitation of resources and people, the puppet government in Gilgit Baltistan is also not behind the Islamabad dispensation. Recently, the government in Gilgit Baltistan announced an increase in the subsidized wheat rate. The Islamabad controlled government is also facing backlash for supplying low quality wheat. तो पचहत्तर साल से आज तक इतना पानी के मनब होने के बावजूद न स्टेट ने हमें बिजली दिया है पचहत्तर साल से न हमें सही एजुकेशन दिया है पचहत्तर साल से हमें कुछ भी नहीं दिया अब आए हैं जनाब अली गंदम के हवाले से जो बात हो रही है इसमें एक और बात मैं इजाफा करूं बखुदा ये गंदम नहीं है ये इतना नाकिस मटेरियल है इंतहाई मुजर सियात है लोग हॉस्पिटल जा रहे हैं लोग परेशान हो रहे रोटी बनाएंगे तो बिल्कुल काले सियाह होती है तो कोई आए ना चीफ सेक्रेटरी आके खाए 
कोई मिनिस्टर आके वही रोटी आटे की खाए तो पता चलेगा आज The residents in Gilgit Baltistan are carrying out demonstrations to seek economic and political rights while demanding the basic necessities like employment, energy, wheat and education. The residents are also bringing up the problem of land grabbing. According to the reports, the Pakistani army and the officials of security services are engaged in illegal land grabbing in the region. In such trouble some circumstances, the opening of the Skardu Kargil road has been demanded by the people of Gilgit Baltistan who feel that it is the only way to lessen the darkness in their lives ye jo 14 megawatt hai jisse bijli aa rahi hai matlab jaise bhi aa rahi hai aur 14 megawatt aur 16 megawatt ka taqriban ek saath tender hua tha 14 megawatt ready hai 16 megawatt abhi tak taiyar nahi hai sunne mein ye aa raha hai wo bhi shayad jo company bhi dande bardaron ki hai to aaj tak agar 16 megawatt theek hota to bijli hame theek thaak milti Amid mass protests in Gilgit Baltistan the politics of Islamabad seems to be in doldrums with people threatening to repeat history Pakistan is facing a new phase of turbulent time Pakistan's own misguided policies over the years have left it in a difficult situation the startling aspect of the entire tale though is that Pakistan is still unwilling to own up to its own mistakes Moving on bringing rich heritage and centuries old past of the Union territory of Jammu and Kashmir to life a World Heritage Week was observed in Srinagar During the week government organized several exhibitions in Srinagar Museum and Art Gallery of Shergari complex to increase awareness among the people about the vibrant culture literature and arts of Kashmir Take a look The Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir observed the World Heritage Week in the summer capital city Srinagar. The event was organized for a week from 19th to 25th November at Srinagar Museum and the Art Gallery of Shergari Complex in the Union Territory. The Government Department of Archives, Archaeology and Museums held several exhibitions showcasing paintings, manuscripts, sculptures and a wide variety of articles that brought Kashmir's rich heritage and history alive for the visitors hum ye jaan payenge ki hamare paas mein jo kashmir ka paas jo hai hame dekhne ko milega ki us time pe log kaise yahan pe kaise likha karte the kaise calligraphy thi kaise raha karte the log chahe isme holy books hai quran hai geeta hai to isse hame hamare kashmir ka paas pata chalta hai us time ke logon ki patience pata chalti hai ki wo log kaise ye sab likha karte the books mein secure karte the in cheezon ko for students and history lovers This was a treat with Kashmir's rich and vibrant past. In today's digital age, the books and scriptures have become a part of bygone era. This exhibition again kindled interest of students in books and they were all struck with the knowledge inside. Ye to ek acha initiative hai jo ke inhone yahan yahan pe liya hai. To isse pata chalta hai ki har ek bande ko pata chalta hai ki hamara culture kitna rich tha isse pehle. और हम अभी तक मतलब ऐसे एग्जीबिशन मैंने इससे पहले कभी देखे नहीं थे जो ही मैं यहाँ आया और ये सब कुछ देखा तो मैं काफ़ी इंस्पायर हो गया कि हमारे जो पुराने नुस्खे या उन्होंने एक किताब मैंने यहाँ पे देखी कि उस पर लिखा है कि बच्चे का जन्म बच्चे बच, माँ के अंदर बच्चे की हालत कैसे वो जो आप वहाँ पर देख सकते हैं कि उस पर जो तस्वीर उसने बनाई है इस आज से पहले तीन साल पहले कैमरा था ही नहीं उन्होंने एग्जैक्टली exactly वही मतलब उनकी तस्वीर वो उसने इमेजिनेशन इमेज इमेजिन किया हुआ है और बराबर उसी की जैसे उनने उसके ऊपर वो उस वो नक्श निगारी की है ऐसा लगता है कि बिल्कुल जो आज फोटोग्राफ हम ले रहे हैं वो जो हम मतलब अल्ट्रासोनोग्राफी करते हैं उसके बाद जो पिक्चर्स हमें मिलती हैं एग्जैक्टली exactly वही पिक्चर्स आपको इसमें मिले The Heritage Week was observed to celebrate the diversity of Kashmir's cultural heritage and ponder over the efforts required for the preservation of invaluable knowledge which ancient Kashmir held for future generations. Mera first time experience hai maine jo bhi hamari varasat thi humne humne apne varasat ko 
पहली मैंने फर्स्ट टाइम देखा अपनी वरासत को चाहे यहाँ पर इस्लामिक है या हिंदू स्क्रिप्ट है या पेंटिंग है एग्जीबिशन एक स्टूडेंट के लिए बहुत ज़रूरी है उसकी आज के बाद हमने क्या किया जो सर इंटरनेट का ज़माना है अब हमने किताबों को अब पीछे दे कर दिया है सर अभी पता चलते हैं कि इम्पोर्टेंस इनकी कितनी है एक स्टूडेंट के लिए स्टूडेंट की लाइफ के लिए अपने कश्मीर को जाना अपनी वरासत को जाना The government organizes many such exhibitions in Kashmir to keep the next generation aware of unique traditions, cultures and arts the region has beholden for centuries. And in a show of national unity and integration of the country, the Indian Army has installed a remarkable 104 feet tall Indian national flag at the Teethwal Chilean crossing point near the line of control in Kupwara district of Union Territory of German Kashmir. A cricket tournament, Tiranga Cup 2023, was also organized in the valley to commemorate the flag hoisting ceremony. Let's take a look. The Indian Army showcasing the national unity and integration of our country hoisted a 104 feet tall national flag at the Teethwal Chilean crossing point along the line of control in Kupwara district. Along with army officers and personnel of GOC Chinar Corps, the officials from civil administration and local residents participated in the flag hoisting ceremony in the border village of Tangdhar. A large number of school children were also present at the event to witness this momentous occasion. The residents hailed the efforts of Indian Army and the government in development of the border areas and were seen proud and elated to attend the movement of national pride. We are seeing a dream, a dream of a dream. We are seeing that this is a dream of 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 a dream. ये 1947 से लेकर आज तक मतलब ऐसा ऐसा कोई इवेंट नहीं हुआ कि जिसमें ये शो किया जा सके आज ये एलओसी पर जो ये ये हो रहा है एलओसी पर इसका तरंगे का लहराना समय लो कि हमारे लिए इतनी बड़ी खुशी है सबसे बड़ी खुशी ये है कि हमारा तंगदार जो है ये इस वक्त टूरिज्म के मैप पे आ चुका है और यहाँ आर्मी ने बहुत बहुत बड़ा काम किया है ये हम फौज के बड़े मशहूर हैं ये झंडा हमारे देश की शान है अगर देश की शान है तो हम सब देशवासियों की शान है जो एल के ऊपर 104 फीट ऊंचा ये तिरंगा लहराना ये छोटी बात नहीं ये बहुत बड़ी बात है एक मैसेज है ये एक शांति का मैसेज है और तरक्की की राह का मैसेज है हम चाहते हैं कि ये तिरंगे को देखने के लिए हिंदुस्तान से पूरे लोग आए और वो ये देखें तिरंगा तो हर जगह लहराया जाता है बट ये तिरंगा स्पेशल इसलिए है कि एल के ऊपर लहराया जा रहा है Following the flag hoisting ceremony, a cricket tournament, Tiranga Cup 2023 was also organized at Shani Teethwal Cricket Ground. The Indian Army will continue to hold this cricket tournament every year for the development of young cricketing talents in the Union Territory. The Government of India and Indian Army are making concerted efforts in development of the border districts. With the help of government and Indian Army's initiatives, the border village of Teethwal in Karna Valley has emerged as a great tourist destination in last few years. We want to give a message to all the people of Hindustan. You can visit Karna Valley here. Karna is a good place. Teethwal is a good place. There is a good place here. यहाँ टूरिस्ट प्लेस है यहाँ शारदा कमेटी का मंदिर है अच्छे अच्छे व्यू पॉइंट्स हैं यहाँ स्कीइंग होती है आप स्कीइंग कर सकते हैं विंटर में स्कीइंग का लुत्फ ले सकते हैं तो आपको पूरी फैसिलिटीज मिलेंगी आपको होम स्टे मिलेगा यहाँ पे और उस रेट में मिलेगा जो आप सोच भी नहीं सकते हो मतलब ज्यादा आपको हाई फाई एट में मिलेंगी बट रेट आपको बिल्कुल वाजिब मिलेगा the installation of a towering 104 feet tall national flag at the zero line in the border village of Teethwal was indeed a show of unity and peace that has prevailed in the Union territory after the abrogation of Article 370. 
and India is a diverse country with multiple religions and cultures conglomerated into a single form. Chhat Puja is an ancient Hindu festival celebrated commonly in the eastern states of Bihar, Jharkhand and Uttar Pradesh. Dedicated to the solar deity Surya, devotees show gratitude, worship the sun god for four days and pray for the well-being of their spouses and children. Let's take a look at this year's festivities. India is a diverse country with multiple religions and cultures conglomerated into a single form. The country has far larger festivals than practically any other country. We look forward to them all year because they are the best part of the year. People of all ages and economic conditions find ways to enjoy themselves with their families and worship the gods and goddesses. Indians recently celebrated Chhat Puja, a Hindu Vedic festival which is mainly observed in Bihar, Jharkhand, Uttar Pradesh and parts of Madhya Pradesh. It is a festival dedicated to Lord Surya and Chhati Maya and is celebrated for four consecutive days with great devotion. The rituals of the festival are arduous and are observed over a period of four days. The rituals are holy bathing, fasting and abstaining from drinking water called Nirjala Vrat, standing in water for long period of time and offering prasad and arg to the setting and rising sun. We have to eat four days two तो उस दिन तो हम लोग निराजल रह के शाम को मीठा चावल खाते हैं गुड़ के साथ और फिर दूसरे दिन निराजल रहते हैं शाम को अर्गा देना है शाम को शाम वाला जब अर्गा होता है तो शाम को अर्ग देते हैं फिर सुबह फिर चौथे दिन सुबह अर्गा देते हैं इसमें सब फल और बहुत साफ सफाई से काम किया जाता है Festivals are the oldest rituals and traditions that people practice to honor the almighty gods and goddesses in fact, these celebrations are nothing but the symbols of peace and happiness. This is why festivals draw a unique picture for the rest of the world to follow as a brilliant example of harmony. Chhat Puja is the holy Hindu festival or perhaps the only festival in the world in which the devotees pay homage to the rising and setting of the sun. The most unique feature of this festival is that there is no idol worshipping or murti pujan unlike most of the festivals of Hindu religion. Some people simply opine that the sun is necessary for life and this festival is a way to pay tribute to it irrespective of caste, creed, gender, race and social stigmas. और छठ माता की प्रसाद की तैयारी करते हैं और शाम में घाट पे आते हैं पूजा पाठ करते हैं और मां से जो भी मांगना होता है वो हम मांगते हैं सूरज को अर्घ देते हैं और अपनी मनोकामनाओं की पूर्ति करते हैं और सच्चे मन से जो भी मांगता है छठ माता उसको देती हैं छठ पूजा इज सेलिब्रेटेड ऑन द 6th डे ऑफ द मंथ ऑफ कार्तिक अकॉर्डिंग टू द हिंदू लूना कैलेंडर द वर्ड छठ मींस 6th इन नेपाली मैथिली एंड भोजपुरी लैंग्वेजेस Women in India celebrate the six-day festival with singing, joyful celebrations and a riot of color in their clothing, surroundings and cuisines. There is a belief in many parts of the country that just one individual is permitted to fast during the festival. Commonly, women keep fast on chhat, but men, though fewer in numbers, also do it. Devotees believe that if a woman observes this fast with complete faith and devotion, she will bloom in life. छठ महिया से यही मांग करी है कि इसी प्रकार हर साल उत्साह और उल्लास से छठ मनाते रहें और सभी भोजपुरी समाज के जो भाई बहन हैं सभी को छठ पर्व की बहुत-बहुत शुभकामनाएं। छठ पूजा begins with नहाए खाए the first day of the festival when the devotee or vrati takes a bath especially in the Ganga. The devotees cook religious meals, commonly pumpkin, bottle god and moomchana dal. 
the devotee who is fasting for the festival eats the meal only once a day the meal is prepared without any waste and when it is ready it is first served to the vrati and then to the other members of the family kharna marked the second day of the chhat festival on this day the person who keeps a fast cooks kheer and roti and offers the same to the deity as bhog later the prasad is distributed among family and friends the third day of the festival signifies evening offerings or sandhya arg to the setting sun a basket made of bamboo sticks called dora is prepared and all the offerings including thekwa and seasonal fruit are kept in it in the evening the vrati and family members gather at the bank of the river or any other water body for puja folk songs are sung and in the evening when the sun is setting vrati offers the sandhya arg and worships the sun god on the last day of the festival devotees make offerings to the rising sun at the river bank on this day the devotees break their 36 hour fast resulting in the end of the festival chhat puja is one of the most important festivals celebrated in the country and one of the most toughest too the festival is also celebrated by the large indian diaspora living abroad the fasting for 4 days is a ritual that is to be followed without fail by the women of the family celebrating the puja and this is how chhat puja is concluded Well, that's all we have for you in this week's episode. Goodbye and take care.